Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February 10th of 2022. Well, it is titled T. Tori and Hins Variable Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, the bright reddish star towards the top is uh, the what is known as T Tauri. Now T Tauri is an example of a variable star and that is part of the naming convention of variable stars which will use a one or two letter combination before the uh, constellation name in which it happens to be located. So in this case Tauri for Taurus the constellation of the bull. And it's the prototype of a certain type of variable star that is studied. And these T Tauri stars are likely to be sun like stars, but very early in their formation. So it's a very early stage. They have not yet fully developed. In fact, they have probably just broken out of their cocoons of material and are still in the process of condensing the last little bits as they approach what we call the main sequence, which is where the stars spend most of their lives. So they're still kind of variable at this stage and we see some variations associated with this star. Now we also see variability associated with the nebula just to the right of it. And that is what is known as Hins variable nebula because the nebula varies in brightness as well. And interestingly enough, they don't always vary together. So they may not be related to each other directly, that the variations may be caused by different things or a combination of things that occur. And one of the thoughts is perhaps there is another object in the process of formation within Hins variable nebula. And if there is another star forming just at a slightly earlier stage than T Tauri to the left, then it may be causing some of that variability that we see within the nebula. And as that star matures over the coming millions of years, it will eventually break out of that nebula and we would see a second star, perhaps another T Tauri type star that would be present there just to the right of it. But of course, many of these things that we look at take very long time frames to occur. So the formation of stars is not something that we can watch from beginning to end, but only see snapshots of individual stages that happen to occur during our lifetimes, because the entire process can take many millions of years from a gas cloud just starting to collapse to the actual formation of the star that we see. So we only get these little snapshots and kind of have to put them together to better understand formation of stars like our sun. So that was our picture of the day for February 10th of 2022. It was titled T. Tauri and Hins Variable Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.